What's up guys, Technobo here for Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using AdLogin. Nlogin is a super simple drop-in plugin to add a login system for your server, designed completely around a user-friendly interface. To install a plugin, head over to the plugin section, select the Spigot tab and search for Nlogin. Install a version that's compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. Once Nlogin is installed and we connect, you might know that something's a little bit off. The plugin's creator is not English, and so the default language might not be English for you. Simply open the plugin's config folder, open config.yml and change line 19, language file, to messages.yml if it's using another language file. Save the file and head over to your console on the Server Pro dashboard and run nlogin reload. This will reload the plugin and will have English selected as our default language. This will also change the config files language to English, but we'll be returning to that later in the video. Once we connect to the server, we'll be asked to register an account. We simply just come up with a password we'll remember and run slash register and enter the password twice. I'll use tech123. Once registered, we can look around and play as usual. And if we fail to register within 40 seconds, we'll be kicked and we'll have to reconnect and try again. If the user picked an insecure password, the plugin will let them know in chat that they should go ahead and change it. We'll get to that later. There isn't documentation anywhere, although there are a few commands that we can use in game. Simply type slash n login and we'll see a list of commands in chat. Let's run through some of the commands. We can use slash n login register or just slash register to create an account and slash login to login as we saw earlier. N login set spawn sets the spawn for users connecting. This helps save base coordinates and things alike from being leaked. N login spawn teleports us to the spawn area. N login del spawn gets rid of that spawn point, letting players log in where they left off. If a user enters the wrong password too many times and ends up being banned, using slash nlogin unban followed by a name or IP will unban their account. Nlogin backup backs up the plugin's current game state, and it's pretty good to run this command once every few days just in case something goes wrong. If you're migrating from another plugin, then use slash nlogin converter to get a list of currently supported plugins. Simply click on the one you'd like to migrate from and it'll enter the relevant command in chat just for you. Some commands can only be run in console, including nlogin change password, followed by a username and a new password, which changes a user's password. We can use nlogin force login, followed by a username to log that player in instantly. nlogin unregister, followed by a username, deregisters someone's account, and the next time they connect, they'll need to register with a new password to carry on playing. Back to in-game commands, slash nlogin support shows us links to contact the plugin's developer and slash nlogin reload, reload settings from the config file. Locate the config in the plugin folder. The plugin creates two folders, ncore, which is where the plugin will download its required files and store a lot of info, though there is nothing in there that we can change, and we should just leave it where it is. nlogin is the plugin's config folder. In here, we have a backup folder, which is where previous backups will go if you've used the command in-game. The cache folder is usually empty, but it's just there for temporary files generated and used by the plugin. Database stores all the player's login information if you're not using a MySQL database. Lang is a folder that holds all of the plugin's localization. If you'd like to change how the plugin talks back to users, this is the folder to do it in. nlogin.txt is just a login file for all of the console messages from the plugin. And finally, config.yml is the main config file. If you haven't already changed the language to match yours and reloaded the plugin's config or server, then this file still may not be in English for you. If you've changed the language like we did earlier, you should be able to read all of the info above each individual command. Scrolling down to line 54, we have the database. In here, we can change it from SQLite to MySQL, and we can define a MySQL server connection below it if you'd like to use it. Under the MySQL header, around line 99 is where we can do this. The security section is useful for controlling what happens when people's accounts connect to the server, and more. The security section is useful for controlling what happens to people's accounts when they connect to the server. We can hide players' inventories until they put in the correct password, 
we can limit the number of accounts one IP can register, and a ton more. Around line 218, we have resources. This lets us customize how the plugin looks and feels for users. We can tell the plugin to play sounds, remove the vanilla join message, and much more. For plugins that rely on AuthMe functionality, you can enable AuthMe API around line 267, so that they'll instead interact with this plugin and work properly as expected. And then at the very bottom of the file, we have some more localization for the plugin, where we can customize how the plugin talks to some users. Anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!